What's up YouTube, my name is Nick, welcome to the channel. Today I am super excited for this video. This video has been so requested in the comment section. The very cool gang has been asking for this one for weeks and weeks and weeks. First, we did impact drivers. Then, we did drill drivers. Today, we are ranking the top seven and a quarter inch circular saws on the market that you could buy that were ever made on the planet. Let's get started. So in this rankings video, we're gonna break down the circular saws into four different categories. Number one is gonna be single use slash DIY category. The second category is gonna be apprentice style tools. The next category is professional style tools. The last category is gonna be expert style tools. Now, if you work in the trades, you use a circular saw often, you know that there's many different types of circular saws. There's rear handle circular saws, there's sidewinder circular saws, there's nine and a half inch circular saws, there's huge circular saws that'll cut a four by four in a single pass. There's battery operated, there's corded. Today we're gonna to be focusing on the seven and a quarter size classic circular saw. We're starting off with the single use slash DIY category. The first circular saw in the single slash DIY use category is from a widely used company, a company that I'm sure you've all heard of, or maybe not. It is the WEN, W-E-N company, WEN. They sell when at Home Depot. They also sell when on Amazon. But this is the 12 amp, seven and a quarter sidewinder circular saw with two and a half inch cutting depth from when. One of the first things you will see when you are about to buy a when circular saw is that the price is outrageous. This circular saw today is around $45 from wherever you would purchase it from. That is a ridiculous price to be paying for a circular saw and this thing has way more plastic than metal parts. It is very cheaply made. It's not gonna hold up to long-term of use. I'm sorry if you're a big fan of WEN tools. I just don't agree with it. When you spend your money, do not spend it on WEN. We're moving on in the single use slash DIY category. We are moving on to another widely known, world-renowned brand. This brand can be found at Walmart stores near you. This is the hyper tough seven and a quarter inch circular saw corded for your pleasure. The corded hyper tough circular saw seven and a quarter I actually have used before. The reason I used the hyper tough circular saw is because I needed to cut some two by fours. It was late at night. No other places were open. I needed a cheap circular saw, just something to make a couple quick cuts. I ran over to Walmart. I bought the hyper tough corded seven and a quarter circular saw. I made like two or three cuts that I needed to make, and that was it. I never used it again. In fact, I think I might have returned it actually. But when I was using it, this thing was horrible. It had blade chatter. It had blade wobble. It had all the things I despise. It stunk. Maybe it was the blade I was using. It came with a hyper tough blade, but it was junk. Do not buy the hyper tough circular saw unless you absolutely are a single use, which is what I was, or a DIYer that maybe just needs to make a few cuts at home. If you're trying to save some money on a circular saw, I don't blame you for going hyper tough. But if you're expecting to have daily use, if you're expecting to make multiple thousands, hundreds of cuts, do not expect to get it all out of the hyper tough circular saw. I'm sorry. The one added feature of the hyper tough seven and a quarter 12 amp circular saw, the crazy part I thought was that in the box, it actually came with a rip guide. At an astounding price of $28, you can be cutting anything you want. Moving on in the single use slash DIY category, I move into a brand name that many a generation has come to love. They're not gonna like where I put this on the list. They're gonna fight back in the comment section. If you disagree with where I put any of these companies, any of these brands in the list, let me know in the comment section below and make sure to leave your list down in the comment section below. Where do you think the best circular saw belongs and who makes your favorite circular saw? Let me know. But the next is a Black & Decker 13 amp circular saw with a laser. This thing shoots laser beams. How could it be so low on the list? Because it's the Black & Decker saw. It's cheap. It's gonna be made in a factory somewhere in China. Black & Decker is just their quality has come down so far. They're now being sold at Walmart. It's crazy. Black & Decker back in the day used to be the go-to name, the go-to for tools. They were world-renowned Black & Decker. 
Some of the original tools were made by Black & Decker, but now this circular saw, even though it has a laser, it has some added features, it's not the greatest, and it's, it's, not gonna, it's not gonna hold up over years, months of abuse. This is definitely for single-use slash DIY. Sorry, Black & Decker fans. You're on, you're on the single-use DIY. Losers! Moving on to the single-use slash DIY category is another big name company that many people will not suspect to fall down this low in the list. I was surprised myself. Porter Cable, 15 amp, seven and a quarter circular saw. It actually looks like it means business. This is probably the best in the single use slash DIY category. The Porter Cable circular saw, I would take above when hyper tough and all the rest that I've named so far. I would put Porter Cable, Porter Cable is top of the single use slash DIY category. It's not the best but it's the top of the worst. This is the strongest saw on the single use DIY list, coming in at 15 amps of corded power. It's gonna spin at 5,500 rotations per minute. Because it's the strongest and the most well-built, I think it's the best of the single use size DIY category. The Porter Cable also comes with an all steel shoe and it weighs less than 10 pounds. If you're gonna be making repetitious cuts, that less than 10 pound weight is gonna come in handy. It's gonna save your shoulder. It's gonna save your rotator cuff. It's gonna save your weenus, okay? You're gonna be able to make a lot of cuts. Moving on, we are rounding out the single use size DIY category with another household name. The Fighting Champ from Harbor Freight. This is the only circular saw on the list from Harbor Freight. The Chicago Electric Circular Saw is 12 amps of corded power. It also comes with a laser guide system, so it shoots the laser beams. It also comes with a lot of plastic and a lot of cheaply made parts from a factory somewhere in China, which is why it's so low on the list. The price is under $40. It's $38.99. So doggone dirt cheap. If you're looking to just make a couple cuts, you need something simple fast, maybe, yeah, go Chicago Electric. If you're trying to make cuts day after day, you're using this, you're hoping to get years of work out of this saw, think again, Buster, think again, this ain't happening. And this is the last saw on the single use DIY seven and a quarter inch circular saw category. We're moving on, we're stepping our game up, we're brushing the dirt off our shoulders, we're moving up to a different level. We've seen the light. We're moving into the apprentice style category of circular saws. Let's see who rounds out the apprenticeship style tool class of circular saws. I think you're gonna be surprised. Number one on the apprentice style list is the skill seven and a quarter circular saw. Not to be confused with skill saw. This is just the skill circular saw. S-K-I-L. What I have here in my hands is an older model skill saw, sidewinder, right line of sight saw in my hands. This may be 30 years old, 30 years of cuts in my hands. What I'm illustrating here is that this model is what these skill circular saws look like today. Another great feature about this older saw, which we won't see for a long time, is that this is made in the USA. It was born in the USA, and now it's, it's going away. The new skill saw on this list is 15 amps and it has a laser guided sight and it's way better quality than any of the single use size DIY category saws will ever be. This saw is nice. This saw is for someone just starting out. The great thing about this new skill saw is that it's relatively inexpensive. It's less than $60 right now. The skill motor, the 15 amp motor, delivers 5,300 RPMs, okay? One of the best features about this saw is that it weighs less than seven pounds. That is insane. I think I just blew my own mind if I didn't blow yours already. Moving on the list, apprentice style tools, we're moving on to a fan favorite, Shaka Gillis' favorite company ever on the history of the earth. This is the Mean Green Machine. This is Ryobi 18 volt one plus brushless circular saw, seven and a quarter inch. I'm sure a lot of you are screaming at your cell phones. You're screaming at your smartwatches. Why is Ryobi on this list? Why is it not in the single use slash DIY category? Why is it so high up? Ryobi, st Ryobi doesn't stink. Get it straight. Don't get it twisted, mister, sister. Ryobi is one of those tools you look at 
and you kind of like, ah, oh, it looks ugly. The green is just, ah, oh, it's off-putting. It reminds me of the puke I had in eighth grade. It was the same color as Ryobi. I don't like it for some reason. I just don't like the color. I don't like the word. I don't like it at all. I'm not trying it. Don't be biased. Because I used to be like you. I used to be biased. I used to not like Ryobi. And then I put it in my hands. And once I put it in my hands, I realized why there's so many Ryobi fan clubs. And why there's so many people that will only use Ryobi. You put it in your hand. You think, what can this thing? It's like a toy. And then, bam! Ryobi will blow your mind at how much power it has packed into a little green machine okay we're calling this circular saw the mean green machine this is the first saw on this list the first seven and a quarter circular saw with a brushless motor okay this is the first one that has been brushless okay Ryobi leave it up to the mean green machine to bring you into the future okay leave it up to Ryobi all you Ryobi haters talking down I'm with you my Ryobi homies okay don't let people put you down because you use a green tool, okay? Let them try it and let them be surprised. The Ryobi One Plus saw also has a zero to 56 degree bevel capacity, okay? That's a lot of capacities. And when you buy the Ryobi One Plus brushless circular saw, you're getting a 24 tooth carbide tipped ultra thin kerf blade with it, okay? So there's that. Ryobi is a company that surprises me every time I use their tools. I'm sure this saw will surprise you if you get your hands on it. It definitely deserves a spot in the apprentice style. Ryobi is slowly creeping up though. They're slowly making their move to the pro category of tools. Moving on in the apprentice style category is a name brand that is going to ruffle a few of your neck feathers. Okay, this is a crazy brand name that freaks a lot of people out. It is the rigid 18 volt cordless brushless octane circular saw, seven and a quarter inch. Yes, it's in the apprentice style. Calm down. All the rigid people sit down right now, have a cup of tea, okay? I know you like to drink tea for whatever reason. You're tea people. You're rigid people. You like tea. I don't know why. Can someone let me know in the comments why rigid people like tea so much? They just do. That's just the word on the street that I've heard. Have your cup of tea. I'm gonna to explain to you why Rigid is down here with Ryobi. So we just stated that the Ryobi has a brushless motor, the One Plus motor. But the Octane is a brushless motor as well. So this is the second brushless circular saw on the list. I'm gonna say this right now. I like Octane better than the One Plus. Okay, which is why I put Rigid a little higher than Ryobi. Still in the same category, but it's a little higher up. I would say the Rigid is a little better quality than the Ryobi. It's a very close matchup, but the Rigid has my vote. One of the greatest features about the Octane saw is it has one of the largest depth of cuts I've ever seen. I couldn't believe it. This saw has a 2 and 11 sixteenths of an inch depth of cut. Say what? Yeah, you heard that. 2 and 11 sixteenths, son. Ryobi, you can't hang with this. Rigid, people. Now I know why you're so mad. 2 and 11 sixteens, that's ridiculous. What's wrong with you, Nick? This belongs in a, no, no, no. No, 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 cool your jets. This belongs in Apprentice. I'm gonna let you know why. Another great feature about the rigid octane circular saw is that when you pull the trigger on the saw, it engages in LED light. This light is so bright, it could illuminate the whole state of California at night. Don't believe me? Try it. For the best performance from the octane circular saw, you're gonna to wanna to pair it with an octane battery, okay? When the octanes oculate together, they become an even more powerful force to be reckoned with. You will get up to 30% more power, which is what Rigid claims. A lot of bold claims from Rigid. I don't know if it's true or not, but they say it will give you more power. This train is moving on. We are moving on to the next station in the apprenticeship nation, okay? The train is stopping at another brand that you can find at Lowe's Home Improvement. We have the Cobalt 15 amp corded circular saw with magnesium housing and shoe. It's got magnesium, say it with me. Magnesium, sound it out, magnesium. I am a big fan of Cobalt tools. Cobalt is one of those name brands 
that you go, this is really cheaply priced. It can't be that good. And it will surprise you. Cobalt will open your eyes. Kind of like Ryobi will surprise you. Cobalt will do the same. Cobalt might even do more. Everybody gets a happy ending with Cobalt. Another great feature of the Cobalt saw, the 15 amp model, is that it is spinning at some of the highest RPMs of any of these saws on the list. This thing spins at 6,200 RPMs a minute. Unbelievable amount of spinature, okay? This thing is gonna rotate right through you. It's gonna rotate right through the material. Okay, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be beautiful. Cobalt will surprise you. It surprised me. Every time I've used a cobalt tool, I've never left going, hmm, I want my money back. I've always gone, hmm, I would like to try that again. Hmm, I want to buy more cobalt tools. Hmm, let me try that again. That's my opinion on cobalt. Cobalt definitely belongs in the apprenticeship style category. It's very close. The new XTR seven and a quarter cordless might even be pro class. You have to try it for yourself. We have to move on to the pro category, the pro class of circular saws. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people that agree with me. There's gonna be a lot of people that dislike me and hate me, but I don't care because you hate me, okay? If you disagree, let me know in the comment section below. If you agree, just type agree and let me know that you agree with me so I know and I can feel good about myself inside. Because this is my list, hater. Where's your list? Don't see it! Don't see your list! And even if you made a list, I wouldn't even want to look at it. Psst. Number one in the pro category of circular saws is, hold the drum roll please, let me get this out, the Makita. 36 volt LXT brushless cordless seven and a quarter inch circular saw. Our friends in Australia, Makeda mate, Makeda mate. That's how they say, they said Makeda mate. The Makeda, okay? It's not 18 volts. It's not even 24 volts. It's not 26 and a half volts. It's 36 volts. There is one problem that I see with the Makeda and here it is. You need two batteries to run the saw. I am yet to under, apparently a key Makita is making a 40 volt line. I haven't got my hands on the 40 volt line yet, but this is what we have right now. We have the 36 volt, okay? The 36 volt is nice, but you have to have two charged batteries to run the saw. That is my only gripe. It makes the saw heavier, but it, it makes it more powerful. It's running at a higher voltage. It's running cleaner. It's burning less carbs, okay? You're probably screaming at me right now. They have an 18 volt model. They have an 18 volt, I know, I know. But it's not as strong as the 36 volt, is it? No, gotcha, okay? It's double, pretty much. 18 and 18, 36. Only 118 is, is 118. That's why it's above, and that's why I put it on this list. Because it is the best performing Makita seven and a quarter circular saw. We're all about the best. This list is about the best, not the second best. Second place is the first loser, okay? I'm gonna say this. Makita makes some very nice, high quality tools, okay? I've been using Makita tools for a while now. I like Makita tools. People from a southern portion, the southern hemisphere of the globe, absolutely love Makita. I cannot figure it out. That's all they use. And you go, good day, mate. Hey, hey, pass the Makita, mate. Give me the Makita, mate. Come on, let me use it. Let me cut some timbers. I'm gonna cut some timbers with me Makita, mate. They love Makita. And I understand why. Makita is reliability, power, size, durability. It's great. I just don't like the two battery thing. I, I, I could use one battery. We could use the 18 volt saw, but I want the most power. And they're saying I need an extra battery to get the most power. This saw, the Makita LXT circular saw, the seven and a quarter, is so high tech, is so futuristic, it has a battery gauge built into the saw. It has three LEDs, lets you know how much charge you have left on the saw. It has a zero to 50 degree bevel. It has positive stops built into the bevel at 22 and a half degrees, 45 degrees, and 53 degrees. How about them stops and how about them apples from Makita? The Makita brushless BL motor, BL, delivers 5,100 smooth RPMs to cut through the material, baby. Yeah. Makita also offers this circular saw in 
a lot of different varieties. Makita makes some great circular saws. They make a steel cutting saw. They make like a nine and a half inch saw. They make all different types of circular saws. They have a rear handle saw, okay? They have the 18, like we talked about earlier, they have the single 18 volt version. Makita makes some great circular saws and that's why they're in the pro style category. That's why the 36 volt made it. We're moving on to a name brand that lots of people around these parts love. I hear it whispering through the trees every time I walk through this building. Milwaukee, Milwaukee, Milwaukee. I can't escape Milwaukee. But the Milwaukee M18 Fuel seven and a quarter inch circular saw has made the list. It is in the pro style of tools. It is one of the strongest circular saws on the market. It's cordless, it's brushless, it's awesome, okay? You pair the Milwaukee M18 Fuel circular saw with a high output architecture battery, you're gonna get even more power out of the circular saw than you can even imagine. This is the first saw on the list where you have two options, okay? Well, there's been multiple options, but this saw has two options. You can get the rear handle, which is what I have here. It's a very nice saw, really awesome. Or you can get the cordless Sidewinder M18. We have two, we have the rear handle or we have the Sidewinder. Pick one, enjoy it. They're great saws. The circular saws will cut through almost anything. The great thing about the rear handle Milwaukee M18 Fuel circular saw is that it will accept a diamond style blade. The Sidewinder only has a 5 8 arbor. You can't do that with the Sidewinder. Sorry. That's just a thought. Maybe, maybe put that in your mind why, before you make your buying choice. Another great feature about the Milwaukee saws, the circular saws, the seven and a quarter models, is they come with an integrated rafter hook. So if you're working up high and you're reaching out and touching something, then you can let it hang. You can let it hang from multiple parts. You can hang it from your belt. You can hang it from your table. You could hang it from your hat. Maybe don't hang it from your hat, but you can hang it. You get the point. Another important feature about the Milwaukee saws is they have integrated magnesium shoes and upper and lower guards. All of that magnesium makes for a tougher tool. It's gonna to last longer. It's gonna last you through the years of mental and physical abuse you put this saw through. And the saw will deliver up to 5,000 RPMs of smooth cutting action, Jackson, through any material you throw at it. Pair with the Diablo blade, it's like bon, bon appetit. Moving on in the pro style category, we move to my personal favorite brand. Every time I say it, I just think Americana. Every time I say the name of this company, I picture myself on a beach drinking back an ice cold Budweiser. It's that American watching a NASCAR race with an American flag bandana on and sparklers coming out of my nipples. It's that American. The name is DeWalt 60 volt, flex volt, seven and a quarter, cordless, brushless, circular saw. Mm! It's like a nice tall Arnold Palmer iced tea on the hottest day of the year. It is delicious. Just say it, say it to yourself in the mirror. Practice with me, DeWalt. One of my favorite features about the DeWalt Flex Volt Circular Saw 7 and a quarter inch is that the depth of cut is ginormous. Yes, you heard me, it's ginormous. It's two and nine sixteenths of an inch, baby. America! And for all you 56 degree bevelers, okay, the DeWalt goes all the way to 57. Got an extra degree up in her. DeWalt's got a fever. Uh-oh, better take it to the hospital. The Flex Volt delivers. Get ready, put your hat on straight, because this is gonna twist your cap, okay? Are you ready? 5,800 RPMs, baby. Get some. We're heading through the pro category, we're moving on. The next saw in the pro category is from a company formerly known as Hitachi, okay? But now it is known in the United States as Metabo HPT. And the HPT stands for Hitachi Power Tools. So they just pretty much put Metabo in front of it. So it's Metabo HPT. But it's a Metabo HPT 36 volt, multi-volt, seven and a quarter, cordless, brushless, circular saw, okay? 
that one of the greatest features about this circular saw is it's cordless all of a sudden. You're walking down the street, yeah, I got my cordless circular saw, but bam! Metabo Multivolt releases a battery pack that can take your cordless model and make it wall powered, okay? You plug the battery adapter into your saw, that leads down to an outlet and it makes your saw corded. Now you have all the power of corded in a cordless circular saw while your battery's charging, okay? Okay, it can be a little bit of both, okay? Who doesn't like options? I love me some options, okay? Check this bad boy out. Look at this, that's a battery. That's the battery pack that attaches to the wall. You can put that in your circular saw, boom! You're going to town, you're making cuts. You're not slowing down for a dead battery. It's awesome. The depth capacity on the Metabo Multivolt 36 volt circular saw is two and seven of an inch. Pretty good, not the best, but it's better than your grandma's. Just the fact that this Metabo 36 volt Multivolt can go from being a cordless version to a corded version, it's, it's awesome. It definitely belongs in the pro category of circular saws. I think the Metabo Multivolt is awesome. It just creeps up on you. All of a sudden, you're just calm, you're cool, you're bam! Slaps you in the face. It just wakes you up. It's crazy. We've been playing around on this list for a little while. We've been messing around. We've been joking. We've been, you know, throwing sand at each other's faces. We've just been messing around, all right? We've been having simple playground antics. But now it's time to roll our sleeves up and start to get serious about this list. The next saw on this list is the Bosch 18 volt, seven and a quarter, cordless brushless circular saw. That's right, Bosch. You heard me, Bosch. Very serious about it, Bosch, Bosch. It just sounds, it sounds right. It sounds right when you say Bosch. Bosch, Bosch put you to sleep. You heard it. The Robert Bosch Corporation is the final saw in the pro category, and it's also a corded saw, okay? This one, we're, going, we're getting away from cordless. Sometimes cordless is good for smaller tools like impact drivers and drill drivers, but for the manly power we need, we sometimes need a cord, all right? We need to be dangling something over our necks to know we have the right power that we need. And this 15 amp, Sidewinder or worm drive Bosch circular saw will give you all the power you need to cut through mostly anything. Not everything, but mostly a lot of things. The worm drive style Bosch 15 amp saw weighs less than 15 pounds and delivers up to 5,300 RPMs. That is redonkulous, okay? Not even ridiculous. It's more than ridiculous. It's redonkulous, okay? Get it right. This Bosch worm drive saw is, it's crazy. The crazy thing, I bet you didn't know this. Make sure to keep this under your hat. Okay, ready? This little fact, toyed. Robert Bosch used to own skill saw. Bet you didn't know that. Yeah, the skill saw, you know, the original worm drive. Yeah, Robert Bosch used to own it. He used to own it all night long. But now it's time. We've entered the expert category domain in the jungle. Are you ready? These circular saws are on a different level. They're from a different planet. They might even be alien technology. I'm not sure yet. First in the expert style list is a brand that you all know. Some of you love them. Some of you hate them. Some of you have, don't have any idea who they are, but they are makers of one of the most powerful and accurate circular saws on the market today. It is a rear handle, seven and a quarter circular saw, and that company is healthy. This is the SC60W-836 cordless rear handle circular saw, okay? And this circular saw from Healthy has a max cut depth of 2.37 inches. They ain't using fractions. They're using decimals, son. Futuristic, I love it and they ain't trying to hide nothing from you. They say their blade is 7.24 inches. So all these other companies, oh, we're seven and a quarter. We're seven and a quarter, wrong. Okay, are you exactly seven and a quarter? 
because Hilti is saying otherwise. Hilti's giving us the truth. Hilti says we're 7.24. We're not exactly there. It's not exactly seven and a quarter. It's very close, but we're not exactly seven and a quarter. We're telling you the truth, people. Hilti's no load RPM is not the fastest, but it's gonna get her done, okay? It's 4,000 RPMs for the Hilti. Pretty good if you ask me. The max bevel on the Hilti circular saw is 53 degrees. One of the best features about the Hilti circular saw and why it's in the expert style category is because of the warranty people. Hilti offers a 20 year warranty. Beat that! Beat that with a stick! Beat that with your drumstick, chicken stick. You can't, okay? 20 years, it's ridiculous. We are moving on to the world's best ever made circular saw of all time. Okay, are you ready? There's only two in the expert category, and it's what I've decided. In my gut, in my loins, I felt this. Number one in the world ever made that you can still get today is one of these in front of me. It's this one. It's the skill saw, 56 volt cordless worm drive, seven and a quarter inch circular saw. This thing is an absolute tank. You're probably asking yourself, why is skill saw number one? Why are they number one? That's easy. They are the inventors of the cordless worm drive circular saw. Your granddaddy and your grandmammy was using skill saw before you were knee high to a grasshopper, okay? So you don't sell me nothing. You take it up with your granddaddy, you ask him, who made the best saw? And he's gonna tell you skill saw, boy. Skill saw is one of the best, it is. I'm so, I, I have to catch myself. It is the best circular saw out there. The worm drive skill saw is the best, left line of sight. It's very well balanced. The best balance on a circular saw you will find anywhere. Cutting through multiple materials, it's great. You pair this skill saw with a Diablo, a Diablo style blade, or even a skill saw style blade, if it's Swiss made, you got a good blade. Remember the saying, if it's a Swiss made blade, it's good. Swiss made, you got it made. Diablo, skill saw, their blades are made in Switzerland. Okay, remember that. Those are where the best blades come from. Bosch even makes some of their blades in Switzerland. But pair this skill saw worm drive with a Diablo style blade, you're making magic happen. Your cuts are gonna be effortless. Your cuts are gonna be perfect. It is gonna be, you're gonna be dancing at the end of the day. They're gonna be walking around your house going, who cut this? Who cut this? Why, what's wrong with the cuts? These are the most perfect cuts I've ever seen. How did you do it? And you, you, you turn to them and you go, this is how I did it, and learn up. And you point to that skill saw and you say, that saw with that Diablo blade, that's how I made them perfect cuts, okay? And then where did you, how did you, how did you know to get a skill saw? Because I watched this video. And you share this video with them too. And that's how you learn, okay? And that's how you teach others. And that's how you become a good human being, okay? You share it from your heart, okay? And you gotta learn to share with others and tell them that skill saw makes the best circular saw. If you agree with my list, you already know what to do. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section below. If you disagree, you, you know what to do as well. Let me know in the comment section below why you disagree and what your list look like and who makes your favorite circular saw. And I despise if you don't do nothing, if you just click this video and you don't hit the like button or do nothing and you just take the information and don't share it, well, then you can, you can just go, you can get, the, get the heck out of here because we don't want you around here. If you're still here watching, I want you to know I love you and thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you on the next ranking video. Oh, yeah. Let me know what tools you want to be ranked next. We'll make it happen. Peace out, everybody. See you on the next one. The only skill saw spec you need is respect. Ha! Huh. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through.
What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.